All right, you are still watching Waze, um, also known as the 4th of July. Independence Day is a federal holiday in the United States commemorating the adoption of the Declaration of Independence on the 4th of July, 9, um, 1776. It is a national holiday and is typically marked by patriotic displays and events such as fireworks and parade. If anybody will ever go to America, you will know the 4th of July. Yeah. <laughs> the 4th of July. Well, happy Independence Day, America. Uh, it can only be, we wish them, what do we wish them? The best. Okay, and beautiful celebrations. And hopefully that, um, let me not say what is on my mind. <laughs> Create a safer country. Absolutely. For your citizens. I'm telling so. you. I, I wanted to say something, but I'll say it when we go on the break. Because <laughs> I heard of the news recently and it's, it's, not, it's uh, so nice. Absolutely. All right, so let me come to you, Diola, if you can hear me. Um, how are you, and um, what did you find for us in the news? Hello, good evening, ladies. Hi, um, Mama. Well, hey, hi. Okay, so my story is, um, of course, about the fake UTMA result, jam slams, three-year ban on Mr. Ma. So um, since it's our topic for today, I mean, the whole day, I have um, had to call a couple of people, you know, within the tech industry. I've had to really do a deep dive on the scandalous story, so to say. But um, let me also say that um, the core of this, which, which, which is, I mean, at the end of the day, whether it, whether it will be um, verified or not, it comes to fraud and scams. Now, this is a subject matter that is very, very dear to my own heart. And um, I keep saying that um, if we keep perpetrating fraud and scams, it will, it will, I mean, we will be the ones to suffer for it. And um, again, um, Miss Summer's um, case is just um, unfortunately the the vibe of today. This is something that has been ongoing for quite a while, even according to um, Jam's um, reports. I mean, and um, Jam did um, do a a really um, a thorough analysis. And personally, on my own end, I mean, reading what their their um, investigation is. I can say that there is some merit to what Jam is saying. They've been able to, you know, um, lay down points that, um, I mean, you can easily tell that, okay, I mean, there's something fishy going on here. But primary is the fact that um, Miss Summer's plea, you know, for her result is, has actually been discontinued since last year. So for her to have even printed that result, Jam is saying none of the students who did jump this year has that kind of sleep for their results. So that begs the question, where did her own sleep on? Oh yeah, now we are coming to I, I said me, the question is not to is not really it's more for the examination body. Yeah. But let us let us keep it. So let me quickly state mine since I mean your story is linked. Mine is, mine is also linked. I'll just mention it then when we come mm -hmm. back into the conversation, I'll talk about it. So the registrar of Joint Admission Matriculation Board, Professor um, Ishak Oloyede, um, he said yeah. that the, the board had concluded investigations on the case, right? Uh, on the case of the, the exam, of course, the accusation of the fraudulent um, inflation of her results. And he made this disclosure in a transcript that he was sent to um, the correspondent of, um, uh, what's it called? of Punch newspaper in Windhoek, Namibia. He said that the truth is that JAM is, uh, has concluded the investigation on Ms. Omar's score falsification matter, and she was not the only one that was caught, just that others have chosen not to go out. That's what he has said. Mm. So I'll leave it there, then we'll come back to that. Let me come to you, um, Jennifer, your story, and I'll come to EC. Oh, okay, it's true. Oh, Jennifer, oh, it's true, it's true, it's true. We are together in the story matter. <laughs> Easy, let me come to you. Easy, what's your story for the day? <laughs> what did you really look at me? My story. Hi. Hi, Easy. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I My story is a rather sad one, and it has to do with somebody giving um, kindness to someone, but at the end of the day, it was... Uh, 
it led to the to, to the downfall or to the demise of the individual who was kind enough to render accommodation to uh, a lady, a fellow woman. This woman, the headline is Accommodation Seeker Burns Anambra Policewoman Two Children to Death. Anambra seems to be quite trendy this period. So it is quite a, a sad one where this lady, who is a policewoman, saw this woman. Um, her name is Nameka um, Joyce. Let me try and get her name out. Her name is Nameka, and uh, that's her surname, Nameka Wonsu. And she was the one who needed accommodation. And she went to this uh, policewoman and asked her for uh, help because she didn't have a place to stay. And she, she just recently got divorced from her husband. Only for this lady to, you know, they lived in peace for a while, but out of the blues because they had a, a, a disagreement which wasn't disclosed in the story. And this lady actually used a pestle and hit the, um, hit the policewoman on her head when she was unconscious tied her up with her children and set the house ablaze along with the lady and the children inside the house. So it is a sad story where we, where if you want to render help, you start asking yourself the question, should I do this? Will it be to my demise? Should it, will it be to my detriment for me to render help to this person or to anybody at all. So this is not the first time we've had a situation whereby human kindness is um, is it's paid with, yeah, absolutely. Yes, is paid with a bad um, token. It's terrible, yeah. terrible, terrible. You know, for for a very long time, you know, I had to come settle my mind and be at peace with the fact that I really cannot, I have to look away when probably somebody's stranded on the road or something because it's no longer, because there's so much ingenuity out there mm. that you don't Absolutely. even know who is genuine, yeah. who is who and needs, who truly really needs help, right? So you are so afraid. I mean, some days when I leave, because I leave, sometimes I have to leave my house as early as 5 a.m. just to beat the traffic and all of that. And I see some people, are, even within the estate there, like at the, they will wait for at the security post by my gate, my estate gate. But I'm always like, mm-mm, you understand? You so, have to be wary. Yeah, I'm wary because I don't even know. They might, who knows whether they've done some kind of arrangement with the security. You never know the, they say the heart of man is desperately wicked. Desperately Nobody really can wicked. check it. Honestly, so totally. I am I'm very wary when it comes to so if you can call me any name you want to call me is fine. But the truth is that I said my spirit releases me, you know. I would not do anything. I mean it's really, really sad. When I saw that story, I said, What kind of wickedness is this? You know, it's so sad. It's so sad. All right, so we'll take a break, right? Like um um Isi rightly said, Anambra seems to be in the news. <laughs> Anambra is trending. And um, it's just trending for all the wrong things the wrong right thing. now. All right, so we'll take a Absolutely. break. When we come back from that break, we want to discuss the jam saga with uh, Mesoma. Yeah, stay with us. We'll be right back.